Okay, you guys, uh, getting close to the end of a section, that means these problems are getting the more challenging, you guys. Okay, here's number 17. This is number 17 and 18. In the figure above, a shaded polygon which has equal sides and equal angles. So whatever this polygon is, it's, equal, it's a regular polygon. All sides are equal, all angles are equal. And I don't know how many sides or angles are equal here. Uh, it's partially covered by this blank sheet of paper, so I have this paper covering that up right here. And we know that x plus y equals 80, so these two angles equals 80. How many sides does the polygon have? Well, there's, there's probably all kinds of ways uh, uh, to do this. I think what I'm going to do is just, let's deal with this uh, shaded polygon right here. So this guy right here, just the shaded guy. Now it says it's equilateral and equiangular because all sides are equal and all angles are equal. So I'm going to call that angle angle A, which means this angle is angle A. Now here's my X and Y right here, X and Y. That's a quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals always add up to 360, you guys. So if I added these four angles up, A plus A plus X plus Y equals 360, and notice uh, 2A uh, plus X plus Y, and they told me X plus Y equals 80, so I'm going to just put an 80 in for right there equals 360. So if I subtract off 80 on both sides, I get 2A equals 280, so A equals 140. Okay, now, there's a couple of ways to figure out this. It's asking how many sides does this polygon have? Let me go back up to here, right here. I now know that this angle is 140. Alright, it's more forgotten, but I think it's easier to explain it this way. If I drew this line straight right here, and if that's 140, this angle right here has to be 40 right there. And that means all the exterior angles of that regular polygon up there must be 40. And exterior angles of any polygon, they always add up to 360. No matter how many sides it has, the exterior angles always add up to 360. So if I take it and divide it by 40, that's going to tell me 360 divided by 40 tells me there's nine equal exterior angles, so it's going to have nine sides right there. Okay, so that's a challenging one right there. I could have done this, you guys. There's another way to do this. The number of sides minus 2 times 180, and then if I divided it by the number of sides, that would give me each interior angle, and we knew that they were equal to 140. That, you know, and then cross multiply with this equation right here, and you still get uh, n equals 9. So I think it's faster to do it this way, though, to get the exterior angle right here and then divide that into 360. Okay, number 18, it's a hard one. Okay, number 18, uh, if S, T, U, and V are the coordinates on the indicated points on the number line above, which of the following is the greatest? Okay, notice these all have absolute values, you guys, and absolute values are, are like distance. They're a distance right here. So which one has the farthest distance apart? So between S and T, S and T, eh, that doesn't look too far, S and V, uh, S plus V, okay, S plus V, well, okay, let's just think of this, you guys. S is at, uh, looks like about negative 2.5, and V is at positive 2.5. So if I add them together right here, negative 2.5 plus 2.5, I get 0, and the absolute value of 0 is 0. How about S minus T? Negative 2.5 minus, I don't know, whatever that is. I'll call it 0.5, I suppose. Uh, that's not it. I think it's this one right here, because I get... Uh, Negative 2.5, if I subtract off negative 2.5 minus, uh, minus V over here, which is a po uh, positive 2.5, and when I subtract that, that gives me a negative uh, 5, and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, and that's the biggest value I'm going to get is that one right there. All right, the last two coming up, they're the more challenging ones.